before the final. That's the last chance for escaping right here beside this. Not going into the feature. It's dangerously close. Too risky. When you're looking for leaks in a stream feature waterfall, 90% of the time it's at one of the changes in elevation. Here's the first one. I think there's more on this feature, but real sneaky. And as we drop here, you know this framing boulder on this side is pretty low which gives a nice appearance and mixes it up. But it also means that this liner stays low in order that you don't see the liner. And when the liner's low, a good chance for water to get out. So one of these guys is sitting here, conceals the spot in the wire nice, but also conceals this little place right here. And actually with the rock on, pushes down even more. Lots of water to lose out there. I'm gonna button that up. That'll be leak spot number one. Let's see what else we have. This next drop, I'm less likely to see any water being lost. I can see over on that side the liner is nice and high. And on this side the framing rock is well high above the water level. And the liner as well. I'll look there last if needed. Not likely anything being lost there, but as I come down here, we'll start looking in a second, but I can already see a hint is that that water level is up really high, both relative to that side over there and relative to this side here where I can see the liner. So I start digging along the back of these boulders to see if we find a dangerous spot. I can tell down here it's not a problem. There's water moving through there. It's a little bit of lost. It's not getting over the fall, but it's not escaping. But I can see right here behind this framing rock, this water level is dangerously close to leaving. All it takes is someone to step on this when they're planting or tending the garden and we lose the whole stream. And as we come through here, and I can see this mulch here. That's where the water level is right here. We're probably losing right there. All it takes is that tiniest little bit behind this rock. Seems like we're okay here. Now I'd like a little more freeboard above the water level. I'd like to be at least four inches there. That's pretty close. Definitely a leak point here. Down at the second last spillway for the final. I also see behind the amount of water flowing here behind the boulder. It means that it's not flowing over top to really add to the feature. So my guess is that there's no foam put underneath these rocks or along the seam where they meet the stream bed before all the river rock was put in. That's what I reached back there and found and even up these gaps, which would push more of the water over the spillway rather than letting it get wasted back here. Also less chance of it escaping. Probably in front of this rock too would help. Just add more to the feature rather than behind. Another little spot here wasn't leaking but a little too close for comfort right here beside this piece of wood maybe a half inch down to the water level just takes a tiny little bit of movement and that water's sneaking out there otherwise around this framing rock we look to be in pretty good shape That there starts to get pretty close. 
that liner pushed down like that. Well, our water's just there, but seems to be okay. I'll let that one go. But if that liner or that rock would get pushed down any much more, we're gonna lose here and disappear on us. So yeah, this little center spillway, we had water loss on the other side leaving the stream and we're losing a lot that's not going into the feature around this boulder. You can see how much is coming out there. Could have been buttoned up in here and just underneath these two rocks with a bunch of foam before all the river rock was put in the bottom. That would have forced a lot more over top of this spillway. Same on the other side. We're losing quite a bit around here. So when those big rocks are put in, the bottom of them, bottom of them could basically be cocked in to the liner before the river rock is put in. And just force more of that water over the spillway. Adds more to the effect for the same size pump. I was just checking here to see if water's escaping and nothing's escaping but again a spot that could get pretty close so I might adjust it a tiny bit before putting these two bigger rocks back on as I did up here beside that spillway to make sure we don't lose any more. Just about to leave and I thought I'd check the side of this other spillway coming down to the basin. We got one more spot here. I don't think it's leaking, but it's dangerously close. Lifted this rock off of here, and you can see that water's right there. All it takes is for this to come down a little bit, and that water's coming out. Doesn't take much at all. Really need to see at least this kind of four inch sides on the side of the creek at least so it can't get out like on that other side you can see how I pulled up the liner above the log because this just is too too risky a rock like this or that one just takes this dirt to settle even the tiniest bit and this thing drains and we're making another trip to fix another leak so I'm gonna make an adjustment on this one too so well, that's basically adjustments at four of the spillways where there's change in elevation. You know, at least two or three of them were actively losing water. It's the first place to ever look when there's water loss. It's almost for sure that's where it is. It's an easy place to lose water, but it's an easy place to also make sure it's done in such a way that it doesn't. So we'll fix this one up and I think we're done here.